Welcome back to another Vintage Cube draft. This might be one of the last ones before the, the cube goes away. <clears throat> it is currently January 26th. You guys are probably watching this three weeks later on YouTube about. That's how many backup videos I got going here. And uh, yeah, it comes back on February 21st, I believe. Until about March 6th, so about two weeks. Do you know what place... You have to make at an RC to make the PT. I don't actually. Um, I don't. It's probably like top four, maybe top eight. <laughs> I guess this is a pack. Holy Jesus. <clears throat> Mana Crypt, Mox Ruby, Mox Emerald. Well, if you're going to go, go with a bang. Or is it go with a smile? I think it's go with a smile if we're if we're quoting Batman again. Oh boy. I think it also might depend on the RC and the, how many people are in there. I think we're taking Mana Crypt. These are both great, but without knowing what color we're going into, like these could just be worse than this. And uh, Mana Crypt does <clears throat> actually let us build around it. We can take cards that have higher colorless mana costs, for example, so. No, I think Mana Crypt is better than Ruby. Because if we end up like blue-black or white-green, and then we pick Ruby, then Ruby is just a worse Mana Crypt in that situation, you know? So I'm just going to take the Mana Crypt. And then see, like, then you get a Grief, and it's like Grief is pretty good because you can just pay for it. And if we took Ruby or or Emerald, like, you just wouldn't, wouldn't be taking Grief. But this is, like, the only black card here. So I'm going to... Hopefully we can cut off black... <coughs> Because there's a lot of red and blue cards in this pack. Like red, blue, blue, red, blue, blue. And then five lands. It's a weird pack. Oh, Treachery. That's interesting. Yeah, and also I do have um, a tendency to draft towards green or towards blue and black. So knowing that, I think Mana Crypt is good again. Like Treachery goes well with Mana Crypt. Could also take Sentinel. First turn Sentinel's pretty good with Mana Crypt. And I do like the green black deck a lot. And that Bayou might come back, maybe. Mm, maybe not. I don't know. I don't actually know what's gonna come back from the last pack. Troll is cool, Treachery's cool, <coughs> Sentinel is cool. My ankle bones are cold. <laughs> Buddy, I'm so sorry about your ankle bones. I'm going to take Treachery. It leaves us open. I don't really mind. Um, I kind of like Bolas' Citadel here. We haven't Bolas' Citadel for a while. There's also a Flesh Gorger, which I just love as like a three drop. I'm going to take Citadel. Maybe we can just cast it. <laughs> Here's a Grist. I think it might be Flooded Strand here. Yeah, I'm thinking Flooded Strand. <clears throat> it can help us hit our our little colors here. See, this pack's kind of rough. <clears throat> There's a Dig Through Time. There is a Tundra if we want to go white. We can be Esper again. I, I don't mind Esper. I don't want to keep drafting the same archetype, but like, it's good with Flooded Strand. Could just take Dig. I don't know if Dig is going to be great. Let's stick on two colors and take a dig. Now I can take Sunken Ruins. Ponder's pretty good with dig. Eh, I'll take a Ponder. <clears throat> I don't know if that's correct. Sunken Ruins is pretty good fixing, especially when you have like triple black card, double blue card, double blue card, double black card. Interesting. I am not frequently drawn to Simic. I think I was drawn to more to Simic when Opposition was in the cube. There's no real incentive to go blue-green though. Like, I feel like there's a lot of color. There's a lot of cards. Like, for Azorius, for blue-white, I want to draft, like, Teferi or Genesis Engine. Like, that's cool. For black-blue, I want to draft, like, Fallen Shinobi and Baleful Strix and things like that. There's no, like, <clears throat> particular cards um, that really draw me into 
well, like a Kaito into blue green. Yeah, Kaito's pretty good. That's a wasteland, boy. Um, <clears throat> I think I'd rather just have lose focus. It fuels our dig, and it's actually a very good counter spell. Oh, Euro. Yeah, Euro, Euro is good. Oh, no, Oko. I think Oko is better than Euro. Euro is a pet card for sure. I think it's a I think it's I think it's really good. I don't think it's good enough to like put me into green and blue though. I think it's also a kind of a big commitment. <clears throat> There's a breeding pool, which we can get with Flooded Strand. <clears throat> we could just take Vendillion Click. I'm gonna stay the course, take the Vendillion Click. Try to work towards a decent blue black mid-range deck without a bunch of splashing shenanigans. If that <clears throat> that sunken ruins comes back over. Thank you. Be really grateful. King, thank you for the resub, my dude. Really appreciate it. Sentinel. I think we're too double, 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 triple, double. I think we're too committed to take Sentinel here. But maybe. I don't care about Astral Dragon. Whatever. I'll take this guy. Oh, we'll take Tamio now. Okay. Maybe. Maybe there's something here. Both of these are also very good with, um, what's the, uh, mana, mana crypt. I'll take hearse. I think hearse is <clears throat> pretty good, especially against, uh, decks that want their graveyard to be relevant. Yeah. Sentinel and Tamio are both easy to splash. Breeding pool would have been sweet. But again, like Tamio is also good with Displacer Kitten, which is what we tried to do last time, where you can just play a spell, um, reset the Tamio. Plus, the map tokens are nice from the Sentinel if we get Tinker. It's worth considering. Oh, that's a last pick snap is actually pretty decent. Sunken Runes did not come back. That's unfortunate. What is bad with Mana Crypt? Um, cards where you can only take advantage of like the one the one colorless, because then you're just kind of taking the damage from Mana Crypt without really being able to use its full benefits. <sighs> I do like Mox Diamond. It's probably better than Talisman here. This pack's really good. Sneak Attack, Ren and Six, Hem to Torok. Uh, I do like Talisman if it comes back. Dak Fade and Remand. Yeah, I think Mox gets the nod over Remand here. And that's not to say they're bad with Mana Crypt. Like, I'd still play turn two Kaito with a Mana Crypt, right? But, like, you're taking the damage every turn because it's supposed to be better than a Mox. And then if it's not, it's just like, oh, that's sad. I love a Baleful Strix, but I kind of want to take this Marsh Flats because I think it goes better with what we're trying to do, especially if we hit the lands for it. Because that gives us a Black Fetch and a Blue Fetch. I mean, if Baleful Strix or Snuff Out come back, or even Tireless Tracker, I think that'd be great. I will, however, take any any land that's multiple colors, including green. And we don't necessarily have to cast these or play these guys. This pack's kind of meh. Like, I feel like the best card is, like, Noble Hierarch or Lotus Cobra, awkwardly. <sighs> Hangerback is kind of okay. Gruff Triplets is interesting in case we... Probably just taking Ophiomancer here. It's good with like Recurring Nightmare and also like if we don't end up playing the green. <clears throat> it's a little bit better for us. Wow, this pack is brutal. Um, I mean, could also take Fire Covenant because it's just a bananas card. Um, plus if Proven Ground comes back, then we get to splash it. But like we have just as good of a chance playing a red card as we do a green card here. Nothing is committing us to either right now.
There's the recurring nightmare that I was talking about with Ophiomancer. Yeah, and it's kind of like the best card in this pack. <clears throat> as far as headquarters only being two colors is kind of meh. I do like a Dothy Voidwalker. <clears throat> Trinket Mage is interesting. It gets Mox Diamond or Mana Crypt right now. I'm going to take the Voidwalker. I just think it's very good. What up, Chanel? We're getting cut fairly hard here. I mean, Oliphant's a card. I guess if we're playing red, I mean, I don't want to play triple green Kogla or Elvish Reclaimer. None of these other cards are very good for us. <clears throat> Oliphant's a guy. It's also decent with Recurring Nightmare, I guess. I guess that's what we're taking. <laughs> Life death is a thing. Really hoping that we get some lands in the next pack. <laughs> uh, like right now we're not reanimating. It's just a card that we can play. I mean, I don't, this, this, this has been a rough pack for us. Talisman came back shallow grave as well. And virtue is not terrible. Um, Tamio and Sentinel are pretty decent. Are they better than... <sighs> I think I like Talisman here. We don't have anything to Shallow Grave. Okay, so none of the cards I wanted came back. That's unfortunate. I guess we're just taking Underdog. Could take Kolagon's Command, but we just took a green Talisman, so they're... we're kind of mixed here. Can we cut the black? Eh... Big oof, man. This is wild. Take triplets in case we hit like a flash and we find something else to go with it. Yeah, these picks are rough. Take Mosswood Dread Knight. That guy's playable. This is a late Wandering Emperor. Eh, Nurturing Peatland. All right. Let's assume that's a late hero of Bladehold, too. White seems to be very open. I feel like we got a really late path there as well. I'm going to put the Tamio and the Sentinel back. Okay. Windswept Heath is the third white fetch land that gets our third color. <laughs> so that's something. Mox Diamond, Mana Crypt, Talisman. Can we build around Upheaval, perhaps? Could take Hex Drinker. Try to hit like a bunch of lands here. Hexdrinker's pretty decent, especially with Mana Crypt. Going Hexdrinker into Dothy Voidwalker when we passed a Bayou is pretty rough. Um, we'd have to see, like, Blooming Marsh and or Overgrown Tomb. You know, I think Upheaval could be decent. Let's take Upheaval and just see if we can build around it a little bit. There's a Show and Tell. I don't think we're showing and or telling here. Fable is fantastic. Uh, they keep giving us really good red cards than really good green cards. And it's kind of awkward. I felt like our directions would be a little more clear after that first pack. I mean, it's tempting to just take Simic Growth Chamber. We can't actually get Taiga with Flooded Strand or Marsh Flats because it's the two colors that our fetches are not. That's awkward. Tempted to just take Growth Chamber here. I don't think we're going to have the mana for Cryptic Command. Rot Farm. Oh, we're just taking Jace here. Jace seems pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, all right. That was an easy Jace. Wow, we're just really not getting any fetches, with any, any lands to fetch whatsoever. That's pretty brutal. 
I do like a time warp. Do I like it better than Thoughtseize? Probably not. This pack's actually really good for us. I would take Scalding Tarn, Tear Asunder, Time Warp, or Thoughtseize here. I don't know. With Kaito, Jace, and Tamio, I think Time Warp is actually a little better. Oh, Time Twister. And a Time Spiral. <laughs> Multiple times. Here, I think we're just taking Tar Pit. Um, I would take one of the one of the times if we had a way to deny our opponent drawing, but we don't. So I'm just going to take Creeping Tar Pit because our mana is pretty rough right now. We have two fetch lands that are barely playable without uh, a duel or a shock for them. I mean, I'm just going to take the Triome because it, it's something we can get. And I think we're probably at our limit here. What is this, 28? This is 25, so this is our sixth pick. We get two more packs. Yeah, <clears throat> Dark Slick Shores, I guess. Now we're just going to shore up the last pack. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Overrun or Watery Grave or something. Because now Flooded Strand gets black and green, and so does Marsh Flats. <sighs> Nothing. Wow, brutal. There is a Teferi, and we can cast it off of Indotha Trion when we have Marsh Flats and Flooded Strand and Mox Diamond. <laughs> so I'm just going to take the Teferi, I guess. <laughs> what is this? This deck is kind of kind of rough. Oh, don't love it. Not loving it. Gruff's Triplet's not even really playable in here. Yeah. Not, not high hopes for this guy, unfortunately. <clears throat> Five color poop soup is right. Except, you know, fewer colors. <sighs> Recurring nightmare, not even that great. <clears throat> We just sacrifice snakes or ninjas, I guess. God, like, even this packet has nothing for us. It's just kind of wild. Like, we don't have any way to splash red. Parallax Wave is great. Ex Expressive Iteration is great. Like, we just don't have ways to splash these cards. Ugh, God. Baleful Mastery is a nice little treat this late. Sure, I'll take that. <clears throat> so this is nine cards. Um, This is 23, and I think we're playing... We play Mox Diamond as a land. We could probably cut Hearse. You're right. I definitely will not do it. Oh, <laughs> uh, Shark Typhoon and Ledger Shredder are actually pretty nice here. I do kind of like Shark Typhoon. That's definitely playable. I mean, is Upheaval playable with only Talisman, Mox, and Mana Crypt? I don't think so. Feels a little rough. Is Recurring Nightmare playable with only those? I don't think so. Is Prismatic Ending playable when you can cast it for four? Maybe? Scape Shift. The problem, let's, let's talk about Scape Shift. If we're sacrificing at least four lands. Oh, a Scrub Land's actually really nice here. Okay. It helps fix our Teferi. Vindicate. Okay. Now we're talking. I like those. Let's take out Upheaval and Recurring Nightmare, I think. This deck has six creatures. Holy crap, how do we win? What's our win condition? <laughs> I 
Is our win condition literally just Bolus' Citadel get 10 permanents or Shark Typhoon? Hardcast Shark Typhoon? Oof, this is going to be a grind, dude. I guess this guy comes back sometimes. Oof. Yeah, Recurring Nightmare seems bad in the six creature deck. Um, don't want to play triple green gruffs triplets. I mean, we could just play upheaval to make them to make them scoop, and then they're gonna be like, "Oh no, this is gonna be this is a this is a, this is a deck right here, my boys." All right, got a lot of mana sources too. Sort by color. This is this is something new, and then you, and then you're both. So you guys can come out here. Creeping tar pit. It's a it's a it's a thing. All right. So blue, we have one, two. Does flooded strand flooded strand gets an island, but I don't think marsh flats gets anything, which is really disappointing. So one, two, three, four. This is nine. All right. We'll stick with nine for now. I don't think we need a white. We can search for it just as easily with Flooded Strand, Indotha Trium, Marsh Flat, Scrubland, plus Mox Diamond. That's five five green, five green, white sources for two white cards. That seems fine. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cut one of those. Green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven. I would go one more green, one more blue with this configuration. <sighs> All right. <laughs> oh boy. We'll screen cap it as usual. Just to make sure we know all our hits. I ate four donuts and a small bag of Cheetos today. Was that all you ate? All right, round one. Our opponent is one one, we're zero zero, so they're an advantage at an advantage in that they know their deck better. And they've also already won a game. I won a round, so. What up, Brug? <laughs> two, two forests and a flooded strand. You know what? That's fine. We can get Indotha Trium with this. We got a blue source here. Look at that little rascal. Okay. Pass. And we'll yield to the end step. I doubt they're going to do anything to this. Oh, exploration. Is this a no second land situation? Oh, it is. That's exciting. Exploration when you don't actually have a second land is just a dead card because you're usually never going to accumulate two lands at the same time again. So you're rarely going to be in a position where it's like, oh, another land. Actually, I would have attempted to kill this guy. We should have actually, maybe we should have. If we Baleful Mastery, though, they're just going to draw a card, so they're just going to get closer to that land. But killing this guy does actually... That is a good gentleman. Yep, you got it. I don't hate that. Might as well tap this guy for blue, right? What do we have? One, two, three, four. We have five total mana.
Kind of tempted to Baleful Mastery the Garrick here. Is that worth doing? <laughs> Chanel putting glasses on the word on the word emotes is just just something. I mean, grief can rip a card from their hand, but then they still get to make another beast, and we kind of have to deal with this. I think we're just casting this and killing their Gary. That feels okay. Still had to use two cards to get rid of Garrick and his... But I mean, like, I didn't want to leave them with uh, another creature because of the Cradle. Like, so we essentially kill the land, too. Oh, God. Don't be Nyssa. Oh, it's just the other Nyssa. Great. Yep. That's a good one. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> Less fine now. Oh, let's get Deep Forest Termin out of there. <laughs> that's that's a good one. Oh yeah, I have infinite slots. I just don't know what to make. <laughs> Wow, they're just literally killing all my, my mana. That's kind of cool. One, two, three. You know what? Let's attack Nissa first, because they're probably going to double block. Really? Very aggressive. Okay, sure. I mean, that doesn't pump him yet. I guess you can get a fetch land and pump him. This is fucking obnoxious. Sure. Cool. Just really not worth playing at this point when you have fucking... <sighs> yep, this is kind of the way I was afraid it would go. I mean, what should we have done differently there? Like, I mean, I think if we Baleful Mastery the, the Avacyn's Pilgrim, like, it just doesn't feel great. Like, it probably would have, it probably would have held them off of mana long enough because they wouldn't have gotten to four. Frustrating. I wish we had a way to splash red. We have literally no red red lands to search for. Because I would definitely bring in Fire Covenant. Like I'd bring an unlicensed hearse, but the only thing we saw is Elvish Reclaimer, and I don't really care about that. We'll keep this. In before strip mine. Well, next turn we can play Mox Diamond. Or, uh, Tamio, rather. Kind of afraid of strip mine here, but I can't not play a, a land. They're just going to crop rotation and kill our land. Green sun for one, sure. That guy's obnoxious. So I think we just kill it. <laughs> we can marsh flats for a swamp. And then play Mox Diamond to just kill this guy. That's not very exciting.
Oh, we get Scrubland, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think we actually pitch Creeping Tarpit here, because then we can actually just play Teferi next turn. Like, leaving this guy on board just lets them get Wasteland, which is pretty terrible for us. So, fingers crossed. <sighs> Untap into Teferi. Just let me let me let me live that dream. Ah, <sighs> just kidding. Actually, I mean, we can just get back a land here. It's totally fine. Get back Marsh Flats, gets us a Swamp. Oh, we already have a land, I guess. Yeah, I'll just get Baleful Mastery back here. Tamiyo's fairly safe, and then next turn we have Treachery and Teferi. Jesus. Uh, that's actually fine. Whatever. Just for... Hit him. One, two, three, four. Teferi. Big Tarifs. Let's get in Dotha Triome. Draw a card. Give me that beast. That's not your beast. Let's untap Triome and Simic Growth Chamber. <laughs> oh boy, they just always have it, don't they? Wow, this is a what a what an amazing turn. Caracas into Council's Judgment. Okie dokie. I mean, you definitely should have done this last turn because then I would have been forced to play Baleful Master for two. I guess I wouldn't have had to kill it at that moment. I could have even let you bounce it and replay it and that would have cost you mana. That's probably better. No, because then, like, we have to do it in response to Caracas, actually. Because if they bounce it and replay it, if they don't play it with Caracas, then we can't ever kill it, because then they just get to bounce it. <laughs> well, you're drawing a Llanowar Elf. I guess that's fine. Would love to draw something good here. That's good, except for I need another black source. That's kind of comical. I was thinking, like, Bola Citadel would be cool. <sighs> so, exploration on top. Elf. Exploration. Great. Ah, fantastic. Well, at least you don't have strip mine yet, I guess. Yep. Yeah. 
Well, we could have destroyed Kragus with Vindicate, but then we don't get to... I mean, that's fine, but, like, we would have just... Like, Caracas doesn't really matter except for the Questing Beast scenario. You know what I mean? Lost the flip. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Oh, they didn't crack, so they kept exploration. Oh, I guess because they have Crucible, so they can just go, like, land, land? Sure. Free Forest. Nissa on top. Now you just gotta crack your Misty if you want to take advantage of it. I don't think you do. Come on, Tails. Of course I lose two flips when I have Bolas' Citadel in hand. Well, I found a black source, but it deals me damage. <laughs> oh, God. And then we can draw a card to clear out the top. But that also deals me damage. Yeah, this deck was not, uh, not long for this world, unfortunately. So we play this, we play Bolas' Citadel. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can play Lose Focus off the top. And then next turn we get to play the land on top. So there's no way to do that without drawing the land. And we're gonna lose Jace. Uh, we need this black. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'd have three. I guess we can just keep lose focus in hand. Put this there and then put you on top of that. Play this. So we're gonna go black, 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 one, two, three. Five life bullets to set it all. Live in the dream. We're going to draw this guy, play the island from off the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> Try to make them pay four, I guess. <laughs> Doesn't feel great. Man, it felt good when we were in control of that beast. Then they had literally uh, Caracas and Council's Judgment. If we lost, if we won those two flips, it'd be at eleven. I, I, this game would be entirely different. Okay. Well, did anyone see what that last card was that they just drew? I wasn't even looking. Sure. I think they're meticulously tapping their green for this Nissa. Yeah, this is pretty good. We can make this a little bigger. Okay. 
So they get to kill Jace here, and we stay at five. Come on, Tails. Thank God. Land. Ophiomancer, huh? Are you any good? <laughs> what do you do? Dothy Voidwalker. Cast Dread Knight. We're holding on for dear life, man. Oh boy. I mean, this Crucible of Rolls exploration combo is pretty good. Yep, there's an Ugin. That's going to be hard to deal with as well. So, pretty sure we've just run out of options. Oh, they didn't they didn't take the Ugin. So they have Reliquary and drew it on top. I mean, that's not the worst for us. What are they what are they paying for? Did they draw? Did they draw the Ugin somehow? How did they draw the Ugin? Did they do all that during their upkeep? I don't even know what's going on here. This deck is... This deck is fairly bad. But we're gonna play it out. We're not cowards here. I'm also much more amenable to a, a, a bad deck if I know it's a bad deck. That's a play mistake that can happen. Yeah, I think so. I've seen that happen, you know? People, sometimes they attack themselves. You know, the old stop hitting yourself. That one's a classic. Another island. I think that's three of four islands. All right. Great. Fantastic. Looking good. Not that good. Nurturing Peatland would actually be nice. Let's just play this guy into this guy or this guy into this guy. Expressive iteration. Okay. Big, big tyfes. Let's hit that. Let's hit that draw step. Hit that draw step. Click. Oh, you got counter my click. Oh no, the clicker is. Come on, give me a black source. Beautiful. That's how you do it. That's the way you work it. What? No. This guy wasn't even black. There we go. Balance. Narset. Spell Pierce. Let's take out Balance, I think. I don't want them to... Yeah. I'll just hit that balance. That seems like the most problematic. Where is the clicker is located? I couldn't say. It's not for me to say, you know? A Hedron Crab. Followed by a Taiga. You're gonna mill me. Is that your game plan? Swamp would have been so decent. Oh, Forest is good too, though. I like a good forest, though. That ain't working. That's the way you do it. We're just going to Shark Typhoon here. Money 
phone. No, 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 no. All right, so you played, you didn't play Plateau, so we know you have these three cards in your hand. Can't draw more than one card a turn, that's fine. Shark Typhoon's gonna, gonna get him. That guy's gone. We know you have these two, sure. Oh, you took two to do it. Okay, that guy's gone. So we know two of the three cards you have. Watch the your time twister. Right off the top. Straight off the top is where the time twister comes from. Okay. Well, we know everything. We have full information now. Money for nothing and the kids for free. I want my... One, two, three. We don't have enough black to do everything. Yeah, I think we're just attacking with the boys and then playing more boys. Black, black, voidy. Namey. Oh, that's the last thing we can get, I guess. All right. Well, so be it. Oh, they milled our two swamps. That's why. I was like, I know we didn't build this that poorly, where there's like just a triome that we can get and a scrub land. I have no idea what, what their deck is. I want my VH1. <sighs> Unlicensed Hearst, I don't think we've seen enough to determine. Sounds like we got some VH1 haters in here. What did VH1 stand for? I'm going to look it up. American Basic Cable Network based in New York City. It was created by Warner Amex Satellite Entertainment as a division. At the time, a division of Warner Communications. And this is blah, 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 blah. Tell me what it stands for. Stand for. What do you stand for? Video Hits 1. Nailed it. By nailed it, I mean I read it on the internet. Let's go get a triome here. Being on the draw means we can't play this without... Losing a card, you know? They were like, I'm going to do something. Just kidding. There's nothing for me to do. I feel like that guy's going to get good. So you can spell pierce this if you'd like. But seeing your deck, this guy could just be a 5-5 five, five at some point. Oh, Teferi. Yeah, see that guy would be a 3-3 three, three right now. Ooh, I like that. Void City. Bounce the Scrubbles. I don't want to get in there with this guy. I don't know what they have. They could have like a Cathar Commando. They could have whatever this is. Oh, wow. That was... That was fairly potent. I respect it. Oh, we're going to tuck that guy for sure. 
Get tucked, you little rascal. White. Third from the top. So we can go one, two, Omnath. Or we can go three, two, Omnath. And now it's just two Omnath after they draw this turn. <sighs> So we have one, two, three, four, five. We have six mana and four cards in our graveyard for dig. So that's pretty good. Okay. That's good for us. Vendillion Klickeruski. Um, hmm. So we want to have three untapped. So we only, we need to keep like one up. Actually, we can just untap the two. <laughs> Do we have anything to get things back from our graveyard? I don't. Oh, we have Tamio. We do want to keep two free, so we want to pay four. Yeah, I guess we're just getting all of it, huh? So four. Because you know they have Spell Pierce. And also... Cryptic Command? <laughs> sure. Well, they have one card. We're not going to Vendillion click here. We're going to do it and take their Omnath when they draw that. It should be next turn. Oh, that's right now. That's really good. <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Wow, how perfect. Sure. Nope, can't do that. This guy. One, two. Well, now I assume you have nothing. Oh, great. Okay. Well. Okay. set is a card I mean it's not like we would have done something different so it's only the, the revelation uh, of doing that is what frustrated me I don't even want to attack their Narset because then we lose our our Teferi Can't believe they Gitaxian probe into Omnath here was extremely frustrating. I mean, they could have also countered this with the counter spell in their hand, so it's not like it's great. What did, like what did you just top deck? <laughs> what is the, what is this? Cool. Cool. Sweet top decks. What are you going to do? Oh, Lord. Give me strength. <sighs> Turn two, Tamio. I'll keep this. We have all the colors for good things. That is tempting, but I think I'd rather just tick up Tamio here. What 
let's look for grief. We whiffed. Dothy, Voidwalker, Sentinel, and Vindicate. Okay. Well. Yeah, the old Lingus got us. Got us right in the right in the Lingus. Milling us is interesting when we have Tamio out. That's just regrowth. Like we can just get Kaito and also keep up. No, we can't do that. Lost the flip. Um. Hmm. So one, two, three, four, keep up the blue. Kaito, one, two, three. That just resolved. That's interesting. All right. Sure. A little late for that, but that's fine. We can just get that back with the Tamiyo as well. <laughs> Why didn't they do that during my turn? That's weird. Let's do a little ninja attack. I like that. Still whiffing. Okay. Two planeswalkers. That is unfortunate. We're at a point where we might just steal the Hedron Crab. Oh, let's cast with Replicate. Um, Replicate's one. Blue, blue. Get him in there. I have to assume they have a counter spell at this point. There's grief. One, two, three, four, five. We have six total mana. Can we get like a removal spell from the graveyard? No, but we can just... Just go island, we can go black, black, blue, this one, cast grief. Yep, you're just gonna counter this. Sounds good. So return. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we just return the lose focus so that we actually have a, a, a plan this turn and next turn we can treachery their Hedron Crab. Yeah, 
Yeah, this should be the last mill they get. Hopefully. They're just like, no, we're not gonna. Well, we know they have spell pierce, which is pretty rough, but we could just pay for that. So we have to win in like six turns. Can I have this hedron crab? Probably not. Oh, we can have it. Great. Can we win <laughs> with our deck currently? I don't think so. I don't think we have a win here. We still have Bolas's Citadel in the library, which is extremely frustrating. It's one of the last cards we want in our deck. Tefri's gone, Jace is gone. God, I would love a way to shuffle, dude. We'll replicate two, right? That's six mana. I mean, this was obviously bait. They knew we had it, so. Sure. <sighs> Wish we had an Eldrazi in our deck. I feel like this game would be a, a like, this is, a, this is the point where we want to get to. I'm really surprised this Hedron Crab did as much work as it did. Okay, now he did. <laughs> oh, Lord. We just don't have eight turns for these two ninjas to go the distance. This has been entertaining, if nothing else. But this deck was not long for this world. Oh, Jesus. We have nothing. One, two, three, four. We just can't even get 10 permanents for our, uh, for like Bolas' Citadel. Tempted to make another ninja. Is that our only way to win? Just hope they don't draw... Um, hope they don't draw delayed fireball. <sighs> Feels like it. Omnath? All right, they don't gain life off that. Chrome Mox. Discard a blue card. Echo Vions, interesting. Narset, sure. 
Don't hit it. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. One ring. Oh, that's good. <sighs> that is interesting. Wow, the one ring's really good. Well, we can't kill them next turn. Making a, making a shark token actually kills us, so that's actually not great. Uh, we don't have 10 permanents to sack to Citadel. So, it doesn't really... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, we just don't have, we have Citadel and like one other card. Oh, that is funny. If we cycled this now, Narset would have actually, can't cause you to discard or sacrifice. Sure. <laughs> don't kill Narset. That was like two minutes ago, unfortunately. Well, hitting the one ring here is pretty nice. For them, not for us. So we have both of Citadel and one other card in our deck. I wonder if it's a land. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. We can't actually play both. I wonder if it was smart to play Shark Typhoon knowing Bolas of Citadel was coming. One, because I think we're just dead now. <laughs> oh, Vendillion click. Actually, uh, that's not the worst. Oh, it's actually pretty bad because if we play it, we don't, we die. So never mind. Yeah. Sure. Talisman, yeah, that's fine. Where are you seeing 10 non-lands? I don't know what you're, well, like we have one, two, three, four, five, six for Typhoon, seven for Bolas of Citadel. Like, I don't know where you're getting the 10 from, I think. Unless I'm like really missing something. Wait, they didn't block? What? Wait, what just happened? Oh, they kill us. That's cute. They're just being they're just being dick faces. Got it. <laughs> Citadel triggers typhoon. Sure. So let's say four, five, six. The shark is seven. That's I don't like again, I don't know where you're getting ten from. We're missing like three. Like, this is four creatures. One Planeswalker, that's five. Citadel itself, that's six. The Shark Typhoon plus the token it makes, that's seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, we don't even have cards in our deck. Oh, because we had Talisman, I guess? But, like, we didn't know we were drawing Vendillion Click. So, I don't know. 
I mean, we're O2 right now. It's kind of frustrating. So, Yeah, no blue. Why don't we have one blue source? I don't think we can get a blue source with this guy, but I'll still keep it. It's a turn to grief if we hit a mana uh, crypt. Not a mana crypt. So if we can get a blue source here or get it, otherwise we're just getting triome. Yep. Also, a turn three Jace if we can hit another land. Hit another blue source is what I meant, not just another land. Yeah, they tap Lawrence, so both players drew a card and they killed me. Smuggler's Copter is pretty good. Sarah Paragon is pretty good. Shark Typhoon is okay. I think it's Paragon or Smuggler's Copter. I think it's Copter. You don't have the land for Sarah Paragon yet. And if you get it, we can easily just Baleful Mastery the Paragon. Do we just block here and have them trade with? No, nah, that seems bad. I don't care about your figure of destiny. We have Ophiomancer. During the blocker step, I'll draw a card. Yeah, okay. Do they draw like, oh, they're just pumping, sure. That actually makes sense because you want to figure out if you want to use the, the mana or not. That actually, I'm okay with that. I'm sure he cares if I'm okay with it or not. It's a big concern to him. Is Frank okay with the play I made? Really, you drew another you drew another playable here. Blue source. Mana crypt. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, seven mana? One one blue. Black, black, black. We do have enough mana for everything here though, which is kind of nice. Play a little Crypt. Get him. Oh yeah, make that snake. Give me that, give me that snake. That's not your snake. That's what I think when I play Magic. WWFL do. Yeah, that guy's fine. I don't care about your stupid blade splicer. Blood 
blue source. Tails never fails is really failing a lot. Oh, I know I said blue source, not a third card with two blue mana. <laughs> Silly game. Well, I guess we'll just pass. No sense in attacking into 3-3 three, three first striker, you see. Well, we would be at 14 if we didn't lose the flip. But here we are. Not at 14. Man, this, this staff is working overtime. Making 1-1 one, one tokens and drawing cards. No blocks. Heads. Thank God. Blue source. That's a shame. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bolas. What's up, Karakong? Oh, there's a blue source. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's what we wanted. Just a land. Just a simple, I'm a simple man, I want a simple land, you know? You're gonna, you're gonna counter it? You're gonna counter my three? <sighs> That's okay. We get to just play the island next turn and then time warp or something. Comes a Teferi Hero of Dominaria. Nope. Something much worse. Oh, that's fucking brutal. I'll give all my creatures plus two, plus two. Wow, this deck couldn't win a fucking match. Look at all the blinking his, his cards are doing. Yep, that's pretty good. Uh, you're just alpha. Just turn them sideways, man. It's not hard. You just just hit attack all. It'll be there's a button that says attack all. You just hit it. You just hit it. No. What? No. What? I don't get it. I mean, you would have lost one creature, and I'm at two life. Like, I don't know. Here we go. All right, we won. Everybody wins. Jesus, what do you even do here? Nothing. One, two, three, four, five. Eight mana. So we can go time warp into like Baleful Mastery on one of their guys. What does that do? Nothing. Yeah, I'm just going to the next game. We don't have anything in our deck that actually stops that. Oh, God, don't hit reveal hand. I hate it when I go to draw a card and it moves. Like, just load everything at the same time. <sighs> Would love to have this fire covenant. I feel like prismatic ending might be just fine in our deck. This deck is terrible. This is the worst deck I've drafted this season, and of course it's like one of the last few decks we get to play. Uh, what can you do? Whatever, I'll play 41. We have 17 lands and two accelerants.
I may be the Sultai King, but this deck is no Sultai deck. This deck is hot poop. Yeah, this is fine. We have all the colors. Mana Crypt lets us play turn two Kaito or Sentinel. Well, that's something, isn't it? Did not get a Mana Crypt. Samson, I'll th Samson, I thank you for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yep, that's what's known as a blocker. Do we care about the talisman? Probably not. We should just shuffle it away, I imagine. So what do we get here? A Swamp or an Endotha Triome? Oh, what a surprise. Play this guy in case we need the mana. Like I'm probably just getting a Doth of Trium anyway, so I can just leave the map tokens. I don't want to get like a, just a basic. Shark Typhoon for 1-1. One, one. That's fine. Kaito goes away, so it's not a huge deal. Seals until the end step. Be nice. It's tough. I'm like, why is this? this is not as hard as you're making it? You just take the Teferi. It took two seconds. I'm just being overly critical because I'm like 06 in these games. So. I mean, I'd love to map token on the ninja. <laughs> okay.
Do we really get to kill Tefra here? Wow, that was satisfying. Draw a card. Simic Growth Chamber. Mm, yeah, all right. This is probably the best we're going to be able to do. Five mana. Fractured identity. Yeah, great. Fantastic. Super friends, have a good night, buddy. Well, I said yield until the end step so I can crack this, but I guess it didn't want to do that. Great. Uh huh. Okay. I mean, we can play Teferi, put him to five. They attack him for four. We can block here. I don't love it. This deck needs a, a, a fire covenant like no other I've, I've ever seen. We just have no way to cast a fire covenant. I think this is just worth scooping. I'm gonna be honest. Our removal suite's not great. I'll just cast Teferi in plus. That does not do it. Oh, good. Six mana again. Fantastic. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm just done. I don't even want to play another game with this deck, and I thankfully I don't have to. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Sorry about this monstrosity. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll, uh, I'll see you next time.